You might have seen a video Hero RR put out about the ugly truth about sport bikes. That truth he dropped was straight ugly, bro. Disgusting amounts of truth. And while the truth he dropped was truly hideous, the real truth will be revealed in this video. Sport bikes, a gift handed down from God himself. Our Lord and Savior Valentino Rossi, not Judas Lorenzo, never get it twisted, was sacrificed for his sin. Wait, he's still alive. Whatever, just, just run with me here. Baptized in the fire of Mugello, he is in heaven as he was on earth, a shining beacon of speed and lean angle. Now that gift was shared with us here on earth through homologation race bikes sold with headlights in the form of the Super Sport. In Hero RR's videos, he mentions these bikes will do 0-60 to 60 in 3.2 seconds, but he was grossly underestimating their power. In reality, a Super Sport motorcycle will do 0-60 to 60 in 0.4 seconds and achieves a top speed of 434 miles per hour. Yeah, and if you think that's an exaggeration, do you even ride, bro? Didn't think so, you dirty cager. And you might be asking, but what about leader bikes? Those are so fast, we can only approximate their speed based on particle motions. You can't actually pinpoint a leader bike's location and velocity simultaneously. Now, to put these numbers into perspective, the $6 million Nissan GTR Nismo Fastboy Edition can only do 0-60 to 60 in 5 seconds and has a top speed of 92 miles an hour. What a weak sauce cage! Even the Ferrari Huracan can only do 0-60 to 60 in 4.9 seconds, and that car costs $7.8 million. So next time you run the numbers, you better take a close look at this video. Even a basic Craigslist bargain find Ninja 250 is going to be able to do 0-60 to 60 in 2.2 seconds, and has a top speed of 250 miles an hour, hence the name Ninja 250. Now, it can only achieve this when it's headed over to your mom's house, but the stats are the stats. Now with all that performance comes danger. This is obvious. You're exposed to the elements when you're on a motorcycle. And much like a bicycle, if you stop thinking about Rossi when you ride, you're gonna fall off. Balance is highly correlated to whether or not you pray to our Lord and Savior Rossi. The other danger is police, who are very kindly handing out performance awards to anyone doing double the speed limit on public roads. And with your 300 mile per hour Ninja 300, you can bet your gonna be doubling the speed limit, boy. I mean, take a look at this bike. This is a Honda Grom, one of the top of the line 125cc rocket ships. Now imagine you, as a cop, sees this machine. You're gonna spend extra attention on this bike because you know it's capable of doing some crazy things. Now, you can commute on a sport bike, and you should because there's no better way to assert your dominance in the office than to roll up wearing gear and holding a helmet full of stickers that say things like, ride or die, or my other ride is your boyfriend, or sleeping makes me feel good. But some people say it's not optimal, and it's like trying to wrench a nail on a hooker. I don't know what that means, but Hero RR said it, so it must be true. You always look a gift horse in the mouth, because shame on you for fooling me twice. Now, everyone knows the real fun of riding a rocket ship on the street is ripping up twisty roads. But do you know what the number one cause of motorcycle crashes are on the street? Not praying to Rossi and letting the devil Lorenzo lead you astray. Also, in a close second place, it's going slow. That's right, the faster you go on a bike, the higher balance and Euro beat meter will go, allowing you to take corners at four times their speed limits. Deja vu, I've just been in this place before. It makes sense too if you think about it. Gyroscopic forces are better at high speeds, making it so you can't fall. It's just basic science. But when you boil it down, it's not about skill on the public road. It's about bravery, because this condescending video will surely stop someone from riding fast on public roads. That's why being at Gat Supreme Cringe Lords is essential to making sure that when, not if, you crash, you moron, you're gonna slide like a smooth puck on a shuffleboard. Now, let's talk about top speed runs on the highway. This is also really fun and you should do it as much as you can because life's a risk, dog. Also, leading mathematicians have placed a 50-50 chance on whether or not humanity is going to make it past the next 100 years on this planet, so if you're not doing top speed runs on a leader bike, are you even living? The Earth is dying a rapid death thanks to humans, so live it up while you can because it's not going to last. So go ahead and take out that 17.99% loan on a brand new S1000RR, f*** it, go for it. I mean, all it takes is one person to change lanes and put an end to the unrelenting pain that is living on this planet, so I'd say it's worth it. One redeeming feature about sport bikes is it will get you so much mana. I mean, my god, pull up to any gas station and dudes are gonna come flying at you. The only other place that happens is a gay club, and if you pull up to one of those on a bike, you better girdle your loins. So that's the real truth about sport bike, guys. What do you think? Did I miss anything? Be sure to like, subscribe, like again, swipe right, download, favorite, react, watch again, and support this channel. Thanks and have an excellent day. Fact. Yami Noob has a known doppelganger known as Krami Poon, who actively acts as his nemesis and is known for riding a unicycle. Goodbye.